In this video, I'll show you this crazy setup I've been running lately. I'm stacking four buffs to achieve full Onga Bunga 4.7k attack rating on both hands, making that almost 10k in total attack rating. Stat build is the following. Figure and endurance, I leave that up to you. I just find mine very comfy at 35 and 45. And of course, if you add Radagon Sorceal, that would put it up the soft cap for vigor and endurance. 80 seems to be the soft cap for strength, hence I went with just 80. Faith is important here. Put it at 15 so you can do the other buff which I will talk about later. My weapon are two giant crushers, the Colossal Hammer which requires 60 strength to wield. I took it from a filthy dex user friend of mine since he is too uncultured to wield it. But if you don't have a filthy dex user friend and all you have are strength chads, then go for Prelate's Inferno. It's a good hammer too. For my secondary weapons, Commander Standard because of its rallying standard buff skill. It provides a slightly higher buff than Golden Vow and any seal will do for this just to cast the incantation for later. For armor choice, Raptor's Black Feathers for increasing your jump attack damage. For Talisman, Jar, because come on, you're carrying two big ass hammers, you don't want to break your knees. Sword Seal of Radagon for additional stats, Claw Talisman for increasing our jump attack even further, and yes, it does stack with Raptor. Ritual Sword Talisman for a slight bump in our damage when full HP. Ash of War, of course, Royal Knight's Resolve. This can be found in the Volcano Manor, there's a secret passage there. You need to duplicate these things so you have them both on your right and left hand and don't forget to put them on heavy. For some weird reason, going plus 25 on these hammers make it weaker. So I'm stuck with 24. Spells. Flame grant me strength. This is located just outside Fort Gael. You'll see it by a body surrounded with those flamethrower heads. Gives you around 20% boost to your physical and fire attack. Here's how we do it. Buff yourself up with Rallying Standard or Golden Vow and then shortly after, with the flame grant me strength, switch to double hammers. I'm using a PS4 controller, so bear with me. I hold triangle and press L1 to two-hand my left hand and apply Knight's Resolve. And then I hold triangle and L1 again to dual wield and then apply Knight's Resolve on my right hand. That's simple. Over 4,000 attack rating on your left and right hand but you have to land them on the enemy in the next 8 seconds. Of course, damage would vary per enemy since they have their own resistances and sometimes both hammers won't actually hit the enemy. Sometimes only one side hits, so aim carefully. But regardless, it still does a ton of damage. What I usually do is summon a Mimic to get the aggro while I buff at the side. Your friends might go around saying fight it like a real man without summons. Well, of course you can. It's dual. I'm just... Presenting another option, the approach might not be a real man, but the damage that's gonna come, it's a god level damage. Knight's Resolve is broken, so broken that even if I'm using the Sacred Relic Sword plus 4 that scales so bad with my strength, it lets me farm this spot with ease, because it technically makes my skill deal double damage. Amazing, right? Who said you have to go magic to cheese? If you enjoyed this video as a sign of thanks, please do click the like button below. It will help this video be on YouTube's algorithm and help me pay bills. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.